three college students from the Chicago area to talk more about what they'll be looking for in the debate. Steve Vilches, Mitch Robson, and Alan Kotler all are with us. Uh, thank you guys for being here, for being politically active and interested in what's going on. Uh, let me start with you, Mitch. What is the top issue for you right now or the top of your list that you'll want to hear about at the debate this week? Well, thank you for having me on. I, I would say the issue that I care most about, and if I may say Gen Z cares most about, is financial stability. You know, it's a fact that the majority of Gen Z feels extremely worried about money. And I think any serious GOP candidate is going to have a solution for fiscal issues, such as, I would say, first and foremost, addressing the national debt, which is a huge problem. It's Right now, the fourth largest federal spending program we have behind only Social Security, Medicare, and the military. And it's on pace to become the second largest in just a few years. And we haven't run a budget surplus since before I was born, and I'm 21. So I think for people, for young people to feel financially stable, we need to address the economy, which I think starts with addressing the national debt running a surplus again, not increasing deficits, because interest payments on the debt are only getting larger and larger, especially with increasing interest rates. Yeah, well, you're not alone uh, thinking that the economy is the most important thing. Uh, Steve, how about you? What is top of your list on the issues? Thank you for having me. Um, the issue that I find most important, especially as a Mexican, is immigration, um, because my parents are immigrants. They came from Mexico. And I know from a lot of my friends in high school and college, that their families have traces from outside of America, such as Europe and particularly Mexico as well. Um, many of their other Republican candidates, such as Donald Trump, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Ron DeSantis, have argued that they want to deport undocumented immigrants and birthright citizenship, which would mean that they would have to ratify, to amend, excuse me, amend the Constitution, which would require a long and difficult process, given how polarized the, the country has become on the issue of immigration. And, know, and I personally know people that have undocumented parents. So that means that not only will their parents become deported under this immigration policy that these Republican candidates want, but that they now lose their citizenship as well because if birthright citizenship were to be ended, they would lose their citizenship as well. And immigration is such a personal issue to me. And the fact that many of these leading Republican candidates want to end it it's something that I want to see changed, and it's something that is really important to me. And I know that will be one of the, the important topics brought up on Wednesday in the debate. Alan, how about you? What is most important to you right now? I would say the issue of crime. I think um, it's really a shame that there's so many cities across our country that people feel, you know, it's dangerous to walk through these cities. And I, I wish, and I think it's, it's something that, um, especially, um, inner city residents and, and uh, minority residents of those cities, they, they feel that the most. And I think we need to address our crime epidemic, which is, has, has ballooned, and it's very much a shame. And um, you know, there's a lot of focus on wars overseas, but you can argue we have a war at home. Every day there's people who are shot in, in, in Chicago and all around the country. And so for me, uh, crime, but also I want to, what Stephen Mitch said, I also agree that immigration is a big issue. We need to solve our immigration system. And uh, our, our debt is also a big, a big deal, and we need to fix that, and so we can be fiscally sound and have a promising future ahead of us, and pay for all the programs that we have. Right, so eloquent, each of you. Thank you for for sharing what you believe is most important right now, and each of these are critically important uh, to our nation and to so many voters, particularly those who are young and undecided. Uh, Donald Trump won't be there; likely won't be there at this debate. Does that bother any of you, Mitch? How about you? It bothers me. I think, I think we need someone who is strong and not afraid to confront opposition, be it from their own party or from outside. I think especially in contrast to what Governor Ron DeSantis just did with Gavin Newsom, having that sit-down debate. And he really proved, in my opinion at least, that you know, the Florida model is empirically better than the California model. And that was not an easy debate for him to take, you know, him versus Newsom, someone who's very charismatic, someone who is very eloquent, frankly. And I think people like Ron DeSantis and other, other candidates who are willing to, you know, have some skin in the game, put themselves out there, they are showing that they are brave. Trump obviously has a sizable lead. He feels like he doesn't need to 
take the debate stage. And perhaps that's a fair assessment from him. But I think from someone like me, I appreciate candor from political candidates. I appreciate them, you know, confronting opposition. And Trump right now isn't demonstrating that. And I, I hope he changes his mind. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.